human, human, wakey, wakey. Ugh, don't scare me like that. Hey, are you okay? I found you passed out here in the woods, so I've been kind of looking after you so nothing ate you. <laughs> hmm, you seem rather freaked out. Have you never seen a dragon before? I see. Where are you from, human? Hmm, don't think I've heard of that. Hmm, must be a very interesting place, though. If I haven't heard of it, it must be really far away. Do you want to hand up? Come on, nah, get up. It's not safe out here in the woods. We should be heading back. Back where? Well, don't you want to come to my camp? It doesn't look like you have anywhere else to go. We're currently camping out here, but we're getting ready to return back to the kingdom. You don't know what I'm talking about. You know... The kingdom... The kingdom of fire? Not, not ringing any bells? Fire lords? Nothing? You must have hit your head very hard, human. Hmm. Come with me. I'll take care of you for now. Well, where else you going? <laughs> Ugh, you can't walk, your legs hurt. Hmm, let me pick you up. Come on. Ugh. All right, human, I'm going to carry you to the camp. Come on. <laughs> While we're walking, um, how are you feeling? Sore and achy. Well, like sleeping on the forest ground doesn't really help you with that. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Very interesting name. Oh, my name. <laughs> my name's Alduin. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Come on, let's keep going. Hmm? Who am I? Oh, um, I'm the Fire Lord Prince. <laughs> prince of Fire. Uh, I'm rather famous around these parts, but it makes sense why you haven't heard from me. You're not from these parts. <laughs> Oh, we're going to approach the camp soon, but... Uh-huh. So why don't I walk everywhere instead of using my wings? Well, it's just one of those nice things. You still got to use your legs. Otherwise, our legs would be fat and useless. <laughs> we still want to use them and walk around. There's no point in overusing a body part if you have to use everything. So, yeah. Although we will be flying, so I hope you don't get too sick when I do that. Yeah, flying. Don't worry. It'll be a nice and easy transition. Hopefully. <laughs> I've never carried anybody in my arms while I was flying before. So that'll be interesting. We're approaching the camp. Oh, you're falling asleep. <laughs> take a nap. I'll wake you when we're about to take off so you can experience it. All right? Nighty-night. Sire, you can't just take a human out of the forest. What if their family's looking for them? What if... What if... Listen, I don't want to hear any more disobedience from you. I'm taking care of this one. They seem to have some sort of type of amnesia. Even if someone was looking for them, they'd probably just get themselves killed or eaten. I'm taking care of them for now until they can recollect their memory. Understand? Y yes sir. I understand. Good. Now get ready to leave. We're going to be leaving soon. I need to go check on them. Hello? You human? Oh, you're awake. Sorry if you heard some of that. Yeah, they're not exactly happy that I'm taking in a human right now. Do they hate you? Oh, no, no, far from it. Since I'm a prince, they just care about my safety. And, well, while we did agree to sign the accord and we're all in a peace treaty right now, things aren't going too well between humans and dragons. But... I'm hopefully when I take up the mantle of king, I can make sure we all get along. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm fine. It just gets exhausting. You can understand, but probably. You've been tired all day. Okay, come on. Well, I gotta pick you up. I don't think you have wings. <laughs> You'll be fine. Come on. Ah. Uh, Let's get going. All right, I'm about to take off. 
Are you ready? All right. I'm going to count down. Three, two, one. <sighs> and we're off. <laughs> That's okay. I got you. But you can hug on to me if you wish. <laughs> hmm. It's nice and peaceful up here, isn't it? All the clouds, the sky. It's so calm. That's what I love about up here. There's nothing up here except us and the occasional bird that hits me in the face. <laughs> it's okay. Don't just don't look down. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. I've got you. I got you, okay? Hold it to me. We're about to approach the kingdom. The firelands. And... Land. Wasn't too bad, right? <laughs> Where are we? Well, we're in the palace. <laughs> of course you're going to be staying with me. <sighs> You've lost your memory. And it seems like you have nowhere else to go. And it'd be mighty cruel of me to leave you be, so you'll be staying with me temporarily until I, well, until you figure things out. But I'm also going to be figuring things out for you. For now, you're going to be staying in my room. Hopefully you don't mind, but there's not exactly a whole lot of room for other people to be. But before we get into the sleeping arrangements, I bet you must be starved. Come on. Well, they've been preparing a meal for me. They weren't expecting you, but I imagine a human's appetite is much smaller than a dragon's. <laughs> Come with me. Yeah, sit at this table. Where is everybody? Well, I mostly eat by myself anyway. Being a fire lord, they've kind of... Well, they've put me on this pedestal and everyone thinks they can't approach me or talk to me. I guess I'm just appreciative that I met you so far. You seem to be talking to me like a normal person. And I appreciate that. You don't treat me like royalty. Well, of course I do demand out of respect for my subjects, but those that are closer to me or that I have trust should just treat me like I'm human. But <laughs> ironic me saying that, huh? But it's just a phrase of an expression. Hmm. Do I have something against humans? Oh, no, 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 far from it. It's just humans and dragons are different. And we have different needs and different wants. Huh, where well, you're from, dragons are folklore. What else is folklore? Zombies, mermaids, werewolves. Well, I can tell you this, they're all here. They're all on this plane of existence, anyway. What do I mean? Oh, planes. Uh, let me see. The plane we're on, I think, is currently called Aztelf. This is the plane we're on. And if I remember right, on the higher planes, the more powerful creatures you get. And the more powerful beings you get. Well, up above this plane is where you'd start getting into the more deadly kinds. This plane is still relatively safe for most creatures. Well, except humans. They kind of get the short end of the stick. Driders, drows, elves, dwarves, dragons, and all sorts of different kinds of monsters. Humans just can't catch a break. <laughs> You're lucky that I found you, otherwise you might have been eaten alive. <sighs> Probably for one of those dang drakes. Those are beings I can't stand. Uh -huh. Why don't I like drakes? Well, let me give you a little history lesson. Dragons and drakes used to be underneath the same house. Oh, yeah, I guess I should explain the house system. Different kingdoms, they're also classified as houses. Each kingdom has three houses usually built within them. We are in the house of fire. There's also a house of ice and there's a house of earth. Hmm. And every kingdom usually has their own version of those three houses. Mine part of the fire house, as you might imagine. Uh-huh. Um, what about drakes? Well, they're kind of different. They only have two houses, the House of Order and the House of Chaos. Well, there are dragons that sometimes follow those. They're incredibly flawed and incredibly dangerous. They don't seem to have any sort of laws, rules, or regulations. All they do is just cause mayhem. 
and we always have to clean it up, and we're always getting bad press for it. It's so annoying. Sorry, human. I shouldn't lose my composure like that. It was uncalled for. Are you enjoying your meal? <laughs> That's good. You seem to have a little bit of sauce on your face, though. Let me just... Uh, uh. Sorry, I didn't... <laughs> Are you uncomfortable with that? Well, it's something uh, my mother used to do. They'd lick their thumb and just rub it off. <laughs> but if that made you uncomfortable, I'm sorry. Oh, you're tired. All right, well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you get a nice, comfortable, warm bed with a heater. The bad news is it's my room. Well, you see, we've kind of had a issue of overpopulation lately, so a lot of people have been moving into the palace. Well, it's kind of made us kind of full. So I don't really and I don't really want to put you in a room with another dragon. I don't necessarily trust them to treat you well. So come with me. Well, if it makes you feel super uncomfortable, I'll sleep on the floor, but hopefully you don't feel too adverse to this. Here we are. Yes, my bed is much bigger than yours, but I'll lift you up into it, so it'll be okay. Come with me. Okay, let me just put you in, and there you go. <laughs> Snug as a bug on a rug, huh? <laughs> ah, all right, lay down, little human. Let me just tuck you in, and let me get in with you. Mm. Uh, hopefully, I'm warm to you. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna take a nap. <sighs> I think we're gonna be good friends.